Well, Liam, thanks very much for joining us for an update on all things Academy. First of all, we've just come to the end of the uh, Youth Alliance League. How happy are you with where your team's finished? Yeah, I think we, we, you know, we're always looking to probably look back at the first sort of block of fixtures and think we could have probably amassed some more points. But um, overall, we've, um, we've done OK. We finished fourth. As I say, we could have probably finished a little bit higher. Um, but overall, we, you know, we've had a, 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 a nucleus of first years this year. Um, and they bedded in fairly well. And um, it's been a, you know, it's always that first year for them is always quite, uh, I wouldn't say difficult, but it's different to sort of YD and um, into the professional phase. And um, they've adapted well. And, um, you know, we've, we haven't got the biggest of squads and we've took a few injuries at times and things like that. But, uh, yeah, overall, probably could look back and think, yeah, we could have finished a bit higher, but, uh, you know, we've been competitive and, um, and there's been some good results and some good performances. Always nice to finish on a high as well and, and you must be pleased to have rounded things off with a 3-1 win at Newport. Yeah, um, previous game to Newport, we went away to Oxford, who probably could finish the first block of winning the league. Um, and uh, that was a good game for us to play. And it was the Saturday before the Tuesday game at, um, away to Newport. So we had two away fixtures, quite tough. We lost against Oxford, but really acquitted ourselves well. It was a good, good game to watch and be involved in. And, and the players, you know, showed some real, um, some quality sort of in possession. And, um, and we showed a bit of resilience. And, um, and then away, we had a long trip on the, on the Tuesday to Newport. And, um, you know, we really, really sort of dominated that game and came away with 3-1. So overall, the last, you know, since coming back from Christmas, um, we started off well, had a few indifferent results in between uh, and then bounced back with some really good performances. And looking back at the season so far, how difficult has it been for the players and for the staff to uh, to deal with the pandemic and, and what are the main challenges that, that that's presented for you? Yeah, it's been, um, it's been something that I've never experienced and I know nobody else has, but I'm trying to run a, a, a full programme um, for the for the uh, under 18s it's been really difficult in a ways of you know facilities um, trying to deliver a full program without any sort of um, classrooms for analysis uh, gymnasiums for their um, their their SNC work um, and their gym programs um, working off site in in you know we 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 were based out of Baffins Milton for a little while before Christmas. And then obviously things changed for the worse. Um, so that we, we were under restrictions there. So we had to change there, but, you know, for, for, from the point of, um, as, as sort of coach of the team and sort of the lead of the Academy staff, we've really showed sort of, um, showed a bit of creativity, been trying to adapt. A lot of our analysis work's been online. A lot of the lads that, or the lads that have had to um, work hard on their gym programs, which is a big part of their development, you know, their their physical strength at this stage of their careers. Um, you know, they've, they've tried, to, we've tried to adapt the best way we can. And it has been really, really difficult and it's stretched us to the limit. Um, but we've hung in there. As I said, we tried to always maintain that we're trying to give the best program that we can under difficult circumstances for the for the for the lads. And to be fair to the players themselves, you know they've got on with it. Um, you know they have lost out on on certain things, especially being not on the same site and around first team um, the pros where. You know, that's part of their learning as well, where they actually see what first team players do, how they conduct themselves. You know, in, in years past, we've had players that would get called over and, and make up numbers or be part of the training and first team, where they've had a little taste and, and they can see it firsthand of what it's all about. You know, that's not been been able to um, to occur, which is 
you know that that's been a big part of uh, or big part of what we've lost. Uh, but overall, you know, with all what we've had to go through, we've made the as best we can, and um, in, and we're still not out of it. You know, we're still we haven't trained or been around on the training ground since probably you know the start of the season, and um, it, it's been difficult, but it is what it is, and we've tried to maintain and, and get on with it, and, and as I said, provide the best program we could um, with what we've had at our disposal. Yeah, and in terms of the the educational and, and the life skills elements to the to the programs that you've put on, has that been able to continue as well, to, despite all the restrictions? Well, um, you know, the education, everything's been online. Uh, uh, life skills, things like that, all been online. Which, on paper, yeah, it's it can be. You know, it, it it's not like doing it in a classroom, interacting with each other, uh, asking questions, um, you know, it, 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 as much as you try and get it as realistic as possible, it, it's difficult for the, for young players to sort of really get that engagement um, and um, get, and as coaches, get a feel of what the players are thinking. Um, so yeah, it's been difficult, but you know, looking at the reviews, uh, I've just done some reviews on the players and looking at the reports on education from from John. You know, the lads have stuck at it and they're on track for their for their um, to to get their their B techs and things like that, which is really really important in in uh, in young players that they get that education behind them as well as all the football stuff. I suppose in these times, you must really appreciate the support that you get from uh, the academy sponsors and the Pompey Lottery as well. How important has that been for the academy? Well, of course, it's, you know, especially with the, you know, with the club not, um, you know, receiving any, any um, revenue and, and anything that comes in and then, and then sponsors that are, are, it's probably, probably would have been easier for them to sort of not, carry on but for them to sort of carry on and um, maintain their sponsorship and support around the academy is massive you know and, and we appreciate that and you know the players at this moment in time they're uh, they're online doing a zoom call with um, with Milkwood Care Home which you know we we really appreciate and um, so yeah of course we appreciate all the all the help we can get on a more positive note, though, there were chances for some of your under-18s to impress in the in the Papa John's Trophy with the first team. Yeah, they've been involved in a couple of games, haven't they? Um, uh, the West Ham uh, game and uh, Cheltenham. Um, so we've there's been a you know there's been some sort of uh, integration with the with the 18s and, and the first team, but probably not on a day to day basis that we've had. We've also missed out on this year on the Central League Cup and the Premier League Cup, where the lads would, you know, the the 18s going into their final year would step up and play in them them games um, with pros, which is which is massive on their learning. Um, so you know that's been. Uh, you know, not having them sort of under twenty three games to sort of help their development and 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 challenge them more. Um, that's been quite a, you know a big loss for me. Um, playing, getting players to play up, but you know the lads that I thought that I've, who have gone and played in them Papa John's games, I think they've acquitted themselves fairly well. You'll uh, know Hadji Minoga very well as well. He's he's been given more first team opportunities this season. Is it good for the current crop to sort of see success stories like that and just be reminded that there is a pathway there? Yeah, of course. Um, you know that's that's something that they see um, not with just Hadji, but, but players that have come out of the academy before. I whether it was Jack Watmore or Ben or Bassey or all these players. You know that's. That's the uh, and with Hadji being the recent one, um, you know it, it is a pathway. It's a tough pathway, to be honest. It's one that you know that they, you know, they need to be really pushing at eighteen at this moment in time. Um, and but there is, you know, that's that's the sort of evidence or that's the 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 goal, if you like that. And seeing them players that they are get making that step. 
Um, but it does show that the, the standard of uh, of getting there needs to be, um, you know, especially in this this phase that we work in, the professional phase that every every week goes past is is getting closer to sort of that decision making of you know, are you equipped technically and physically uh, and have the right attitude to step up into uh, a, a, where you've left now youth football, you're into a, a, a different um, different um, stage of your career where it is will, will be about securing a first team place somewhere along the line in the next couple of years. Looking forward onto the Merit League, uh, what will you be looking for at this stage from your players both on and off the pitch? Well, I think I think on the pitch, I think we get to a stage of this season now where um, you know the first years have sort of got a real good idea of what's expected. Um, the second years are now entering the sort of last phase of their PDP um, time, so they really need to um, you know have a real final push now of 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 securing something. Um, beyond this year and the first years need to show, you know, basically what they've learned in the, in the, in the start of the season leading up to now that, and, and start bringing everything into place a little bit, um, you know, and, 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 and showing that, that they're taking on the information, they're learning it and now they're putting it into practice in this last sort of five, five, six, well, possibly seven games.